Are you proficient in two or more languages? Do you have an excellent writing ability with a solid grasp of spelling and grammar? Are you inquisitive with a strong attention to detail and the ability to quickly pick up on new concepts? If you possess all these skills, you've got what it takes to write your way into a career as a translator. Like interpreters who convert spoken words, translators convert written words between languages. Translators make sure written translations convey the original meaning as faithfully as possible. They may work on a variety of materials, including books, articles, legal documents, and technical manuals. To spell out what's involved in this career, we met with a translator working in Alberta. Hi, my name is Claudia and I'm a translator. A translator is a person that conveys a message from one language to another. Usually, translator is written documentation that you have to put into the, a second language. Su internet no está funcionando. I speak Spanish, English, and Portuguese, and I work with uh, English and Spanish. So basically, her questions are about housing. Translators can work as freelance. They can also work part-time or full-time for private companies, the government, school, or non-profit organizations. I used to work for companies full-time translating, and now I'm just doing freelance from work, so it depends on the load of work that I have at the moment. I love working from home. You manage your own time to do your job, to do your hobbies, to workouts, and spend time with the family. When I'm giving a document to translate, the first thing you have to do is to review the document, make sure that it's an original document, then do some research and maybe some vocabulary in that industry specific. The reference materials that I like to use usually are dictionaries, uh, search engines nowadays is very important. If I have documents or books related to uh, the subject that I'm specifically translating, I like to check that too to make sure that it's accurate. You also search for documents online that are related to the same subject to make sure that your translation is also on the same direction of the text. I think the skills and characteristics needed to be a translator is you need to have good research skills, note-taking, organization skills like time management as well, and accuracy. The job requires a lot of time sitting in front of the computer, so in order to stay active, I try to do some pauses to work out, like running, yoga, stretches. I also pause to just do some cooking or spend time with family, but most of the time you have to be in front of the screen. In Alberta, in order to be a translator, you need to be certified with ATIA, which is the Association of Translators and Interpreters of Alberta. In order to do that, you need to pass an exam and a code of ethics exam with them. What I find most satisfying is being able to share all the information with different cultures for them to learn about how things are done in, in a different place where they don't have like the same background, culture, or education. What I like is just being able to connect them. I think the job as a translator gives a lot of flexibility to people and a lot of growing opportunities. A really good opportunity for people if they like to expand their knowledge and culture. I think it's a, it's a job that allows you to have as free time as you want or as busy time as you want because it's your choice to decide which job you want to do at the moment. It's a very good job for quality of life. To be a successful translator, you must be able to pick up on subtle differences of meaning in the written languages you're working with. You'll need to write in a variety of styles, formal and informal, and you'll need good time management to meet deadlines. You'll also need to be a good researcher to stay on top of changing vocabulary, jargon, and technical terms across multiple languages. Couple all this with good interpersonal skills and that translates into a fulfilling career in any language. To get the right stuff on this career, go to the ALICE website and check out the training requirements and salary ranges in the occupational profile. While you're there, read up on similar careers, including language interpreter, linguist, and sign language interpreter. Explore the possibilities. Go to alice.alberta.ca.